the egg sousata Brennan's. It is a dish that to me has sort of changed Eggs Benedict for me forever because I will never go back to regular Eggs Benedict. It's an amazing cure for a hangover. It is a reason to be hungover again. What Eggs Usada is, is essentially Eggs Benedict, but with the addition of a Marchand de Vin sauce, which is a veal stock based sauce with red wine. And it just transforms the dish from being, you know, something that is fairly familiar to the palate to something that has a new depth of flavor and just has a meatiness about it that makes it a natural for the meat show. Brennan's Original Eggs Hussard. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Look at the way that jiggles, so salacious. So here's the dish. You can see right away that it is imbued with a glorious bronzed sauce that no other egg dish of this order has. Mushrooms, we have the house cured Canadian bacon. You can see the uh, poached egg. It's like hummically rich. You have just layers of butter, egg go. Both sauces are incredibly rich. And then you have that smoky, coffee inflected um, Canadian bacon. This veal sauce, this veal reduction, just adds such a depth of flavor to this that it kind of ruins every other egg dish of this order for you. Now you can't go back to Egg Benedict or Hollandaise when you've had this. That English muffin is almost like a piece of French toast. There's so much butter in it that it really does have that kind of, that you know, the way the French toast gets that crunchy exterior. It's that, the same thing as here. I know it was only a couple of days that I had it, but it's this is one of those dishes that sort of becomes iconic in my life. The same way that when I visit California, I go to In-N-Out Burger, or when I visit Brooklyn, I go to Peter Luger's. Like, this is a dish to me that is sort of iconic as those meat dishes. What I really like about this dish is that they're not relying on some commodity bacon. This is house-cured Canadian bacon. And I also really like the way they slice it. It's very thin. This is really a beautiful piece of meat. I mean, it would stand up on its own just as a side item, but, you know, imbued with all these other incredible flavors, it's a winner. Okay, well, here's the last bite. It's so satisfying, so rich. I couldn't possibly eat another bite. Well, before you say last bite, can we end on Steak Diane prepared tableside here at Brennan's? <laughs> what self-respecting host of a show called The Meat Show would say no to that? The answer is yes. Fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna make some room. I mean, it's a psychological act that I'm gonna engage in, but I'm ready to eat Steak Diane. Steak Diane sauce, it's the traditional red wine and, and veal. So supposedly named after the uh, Roman goddess Diane? Correct, goddess of the hunt.